Hi. I'm going to talk about Understanding Astrocytomas Astrocytomas are a type of cancer of the brain. They originate in a particular kind of glial cells, star-shaped brain cells in the cerebrum called astrocytes. This type of tumor does not usually spread outside the brain and spinal cord and it does not usually affect other organs. Astrocytomas are the most common glioma and can occur in most parts of the brain and occasionally in the spinal cord. Narrow zones of infiltration, that often are clearly outlined on diagnostic images diffuse zones of infiltration, that share various features, including the ability to arise at any location in the CNS, but with a preference for the cerebral hemispheres, they occur usually in adults, and an intrinsic tendency to progress to more advanced grades, people can develop astrocytomas at any age. The low-grade type is more often found in children or young adults, while the high-grade type are more prevalent in adults. Astrocytomas in the base of the brain are more common in young people and account for roughly 75% of neuroepithelial tumors. Grading of numerous grading systems in use for the classification of tumor of the central nervous system, the World Health Organization grading system is commonly used for astrocytoma, established in 1993 in an effort to eliminate confusion regarding diagnoses. The WHO system established a four-tiered histologic grading guideline for astrocytomas that assigns a grade from 1 to 4, with 1 being the least aggressive and 4 being the most aggressive. The WHO grading scheme is based on the appearance of certain characteristics, atypia, mitosis, endothelial proliferation, and necrosis. These features reflect the malignant potential of the tumor in terms of invasion and growth rate. Tumors without any of these features are grade I, and those with one of these features are grade II. Tumors with two criteria and tumors with three or four criteria are WHO grades 3 and 4, respectively. Various types of astrocytomas are given these WHO grades. Grade 1 Pilocytic Astrocytoma, Pleomorphic Xanthoastrocytoma, Subpendimal Giant Cell Astrocytoma, and Subpendimoma. Consist of slow-growing astrocytomas, benign, and associated with long-term survival. Individuals with very slow-growing tumors where complete surgical removal by stereotactic surgery is possible may experience total remission. Grade 2 low-grade astrocytoma, mixed oligoastrocytoma. Consist of relatively slow growing astrocytomas, usually considered benign that sometimes evolve into more malignant or as higher grade tumors. They are prevalent in younger people who often present with seizures. Median survival varies with the cell type of the tumor. Grade 2 astrocytomas are defined as being invasive gliomas, meaning that the tumor cells penetrate into the surrounding normal brain, making a surgical cure more difficult. Other factors which influence survival include age and performance status. Due to the infiltrative nature of these tumors, recurrences are relatively common, depending on the patient, radiation or chemotherapy after surgery is an option. Individuals with grade 2 astrocytoma have a 5-year survival rate of about 34% without treatment and about 70% with radiation therapy. The median survival time is 4 years. Grade 3 anaplastic astrocytoma consists of anaplastic astrocytomas. It is often related to seizures, neurologic deficits, headaches, or changes in mental status. The standard initial treatment is to remove as much of the tumor as possible without worsening neurologic deficits. Radiation therapy has been shown to prolong survival and is a standard component of treatment. 
grade 4 glioblastoma multiform consists of glioblastoma multiform, which is the most common and most malignant primary brain tumor. Primary GBM grow and spread to other parts of the brain quickly, they can become very large before producing symptoms, which often begin abruptly with seizures. Less than 10% form more slowly following degeneration of low-grade astrocytoma or anaplastic astrocytoma. These are called secondary GBM and are more common in younger patients. Surgical removal remains the mainstay of treatment, provided that unacceptable neurologic injury can be avoided. Few patients survive beyond three years. Individuals with grade 4 astrocytoma have a median survival time of 17 weeks without treatment, 30 weeks with radiation, and 37 weeks with surgical removal of most of the tumor followed by radiation therapy. Long-term survival falls well under 3%. According to the WHO data the lowest grade astrocytomas make up only 2% of recorded astrocytomas, grade 2 8%, and the higher grade anaplastic astrocytomas 20%. The highest graded astrocytoma is the most common primary nervous system cancer and second most frequent brain tumor after brain metastasis. Despite the low incidence of astrocytomas compared to other human cancers, mortality is significant, as the higher grades present high mortality rates. Pathophysiology Astrocytoma causes regional effects by compression, invasion, and destruction of brain parenchyma, arterial and venous hypoxia, competition for nutrients, release of metabolic end products, and release and recruitment of cellular mediators that disrupt normal parenchymal function. Secondary clinical sequelae may be caused by elevated intracranial pressure attributable to direct mass effect, increased blood volume, or increased cerebrospinal fluid volume. Diagnosis Low grade astrocytoma of the midbrain. Sagittal T1 weighted magnetic resonance imaging after contrast medium administration. The tumor is marked with an arrow. The CSF spaces in front of the tumor are expanded due to compression-induced hydrocephalus internus. A computed tomography or magnetic resonance imaging scan is necessary to characterize the extent of these tumors. CT will usually show distortion of third and lateral ventricles with displacement of anterior and middle cerebral arteries. Histologic analysis is necessary for grading diagnosis. In the first stage of diagnosis the doctor will take a history of symptoms and perform a basic neurological exam, including an eye exam and tests of vision, balance, coordination and mental status. The doctor will then require a computerized tomography scan and magnetic resonance imaging of the patient's brain. During a CD scan, X-rays of the patient's brain are taken from many different directions. These are then combined by a computer, producing a cross-sectional image of the brain. If a tumor is found, it will be necessary for a neurosurgeon to perform a biopsy on it. This simply involves the removal of a small amount of tumor tissue, which is then sent to a neuropathologist for examination and grading. The biopsy may take place before surgical removal of the tumor or the sample may be taken during surgery. Grading of the tumor sample is a method of classification that helps the doctor to determine the severity of the astrocytoma and to decide on the best treatment options. For low-grade astrocytomas, removal of the tumor will generally allow functional survival for many years. In some reports, the five-year survival has been over 90% with well-resected tumors. Indeed, broad intervention of low-grade conditions is a contested matter. In particular, pilocytic astrocytomas are commonly indolent bodies that may permit normal neurologic function. However, left unattended these tumors may eventually undergo neoplastic transformation.
There are no precise guidelines because the exact cause of astrocytoma is not yet known. Notable cases Longtime U.S. Senator Ted Kennedy died of malignant glioma. The course of his illness suggests GBM. After his initial seizure and subsequent diagnosis in May 2008, he chose aggressive treatment and survived 15 months. 2001 World Rally Championship winner Richard Burns was diagnosed with it after suffering a blackout while traveling to the 2003 Wales Rally GB. He died on the 25th of November 2005, four years to the day after winning the WRC Championship. Doctors diagnosed composer George Gershwin with a glioblastoma multiform in 1937. However, recent studies indicate that this diagnosis may have been incorrect. Some believe it may have been a pilocytic astrocytoma. Spree shooter Charles Whitman was diagnosed with astrocytoma post-mortem. The Connolly Commission investigating the shooting concluded the tumor conceivably could have contributed to his inability to control his emotions and actions. Momolum, had a mild form of glioma on left frontal lobe. Dan Quisenberry was diagnosed with grade 4 astrocytoma in January 1998. He died in 1998 in Leewood, Kansas. In popular culture, astrocytoma plays an important role in the plot of the film phenomenon. The lead character, George Malley develops the tumor, but at first it gives him genius-level intelligence and special powers, and this and other symptoms create the impression that he has been influenced by extraterrestrials, until the tumor is discovered by tests. The tumor later kills him. The type of tumor and the fatal result are factual but the special powers and intelligence are fictional plot devices. Thanks for watching. Please see my link in description for more information. Bye.